right welcome back to the concepts of javascript now in this section we are going to discuss what is ecmascript what are the features of ecmascript additionally we are going to discuss even object literal concept and defining the object with user defined method at the same time working with the class and properties with its methods and connectivity with the object and inheritance so let's let's list out or get a clarity each and every concept i am just first writing ecmascript we can also short we can say es what is ecmascript what is the usage of ecmascript and how it is connected to javascript let's just check it out so okay if we are planning to identify or else we can say planning to extend our features compared to the concept of javascript and then the next point that we can just think in terms of javascript methodology itself the ecmascript so let's do one thing here just type what is ecmascript the abbreviation of ecmascript is enterprise content management is it right 100 percentage wrong so that is the search result is wrong let's check it out what it is yes so <clears throat> you even have to just if you are in basic of course if you are already a professional yes you know how to check it out even researching and finding out so now i am just typing ecmascript exactly let us first see what ecmascript means the abbreviation of ecmascript is european computer manufacturers association script it is a simply script based or scripting language based on javascript it is also one of the scripting language based on the javascript and then when we are already able to do the things event handlers whereas styling the contents positioning the contents like this a number of things then why do we have to choose or what is the usage of ecmascript to get a clarity here we are just opening and seeing what is the difference between javascript and ecmascript so if you just come down ecmascript is a standard and javascript is also a standard whereas ecmascript is a specification javascript is an implementation of the ecmascript standard right ecmascript is standard javascript is a standard ecmascript is a specification where a javascript is an implementation of the ecmascript standard at the same time ecmascript is standardized javascript that is high end by reading this statements itself we can just simply get an idea it's something a high end whereas it is also one of the language javascript is a dialect of ecmascript and ecmascript is javascript okay let's just calm down a javascript or ecmascript glossary if you just check it out here few things ecma 262 whereas previously ecma international you don't need to remember all these points i am just going to show you a uh, things what is 
the concept of ECMAScript and where it came from where it came so ECMA 262 then it is a scripting language which is designed specific specifically for acting on an existing entity or a system so if you observe here for a general idea of what makes a programming language right now it is a scripting language can come can consider the commands of walk run and jump and these actions require something to carry them out perhaps like I said dog a person or a video a game character without an actor to perform these commands like walk run and jump wouldn't be make sense the meaning of this statement is if you observe the scripting language consider the commands what is a command walk command run command jump command but how to work with this there should be something else a pass request right now there should be some something else it needs to give a call that's nothing but we can say these actions require something to carry them out perhaps a person or a dog or a video or a game character without an actor to perform these commands walk run and jump wouldn't make sense so this set of actions is analogous to a scripting language that focuses on manipulating external entity then if you just come down here javascript it is a general purpose scripting language that confirms to the ecmascript specification whereas you have already seen and if you observe here some additional things experimental or practical things additions to the array buffer new typed object objects and new SIMD objects versus new shared memory objects these are some of the things which are the following features are implemented but only available in Fire, Firefox nightly channel that you have to remember whereas a JavaScript engine it is a program or interpreter that understands and executes JavaScript code what is a JavaScript engine? It is a program or as an interpreter that understands and executes JavaScript code. Then let's just see that what is this diagram says differences in browser's performance whereas difference in browser support then if you observe here the implementation applications and ECMAScript edition this is just a basic idea we are getting and if we want to get a clear picture and what are the features in ECMAScript compared to the concept of JavaScript we'll be just going to discuss as now we are discussing ECMAScript 6 it is in the sixth edition that in uh, sorry it is the sixth edition of ECMA 262 standard and features major changes and improvements to ECMA script specifications so there are synonyms that we can say ES6 ES 2015 and ECMA script 2015 then we have a Babel is one of the transpiler that can convert ECMAScript 6 code into ECMAScript 5 of course when you will be using when you do some applications either in terms of any library or framework of JavaScript then one more interesting tidbit I hope 
you found this information about JavaScript and ECMAScript is useful. Before we wrap up these things, I would like to share one more piece of information that needs to be clarified or fledged. So I clarified for fledging web developers like me. So what is that? Chicken or the egg? The confusion bit, bit of history is that JavaScript was created in 1996. It was then submitted to ECMA International in 1997 for standardization which resulted in ECMAScript at the same time because the JavaScript conformed to the ECMAScript specification and JavaScript is an example of ECMAScript implementation. That leaves with thus a fact, fun fact ECMAScript is based on JavaScript and JavaScript is based on ECMAScript. Both are relying on each other. Okay. So overall we can say a few things that we got a clarity but if even if we got so if we require clearly what is an ECMAScript you can also just okay, click on images and let's just see the difference yes ECMAScript sorry right very simple thing here what we have can't open six steps for approaching the next JavaScript then what is ECMAScript ECMAScript is a name that is okay sorry ECMAScript is a name of the international standard that defines JavaScript which is developed by technical committee 39 of ECMAScript International and issued as an ECMA 262 and ISO or IEC 16262 and not part of W3C. You need to remember this point. It is a not it is not a part of W3C. And here JavaScript implementations where Google version 8 that is JavaScript is implemented in either Google version 8 or Mozilla SpiderMonkey, Microsoft Chakra, then WebKit JS Core. Okay, then, and if you just come down here, you will be having verify you have enough ES6 knowledge or not. Then get a local ES6 environment running and study ES6 whereas focus on modules and reference the ECMAScript 6 specification during learning study browser adoption so you can just choose these things it is just a point of for you to get a basic idea only now apart with this okay if we want to find out ECMAScript versus JavaScript okay so let's read this one so what is the difference between ECMAScript and JavaScript is a basic question and ECMAScript is a standard and JavaScript is an implementation of ECMAScript is it correct it is asking you can have it answer here JavaScript was originally named as Mocha and changed it to LiveScript but ultimately became JavaScript. It's important to note that JavaScript came before ECMAScript. And to start from the beginning, JavaScript derived its name from Java and initially Brendan H was asked to develop a language that resembled Java for the web for Netscape and H however decided to that Java was too complicated with all its rules and so how to create a simpler language than a beginner code in. So after the language was completed the marketing team of Netscape requested Sun to allow them to name it as JavaScript 
overall points what we have understood here is first javascript is the first then ecmascript is the second whereas javascript is an implementation of ecmascript these are the two common points that we are able to understand and apart with this we can also go through a number of statements and you can also just see here yes let's have a clear picture here first let's discuss about the concept of javascript and then we'll discuss about the concept of ecmascript so javascript can also be short as js javascript is the most popular implementation of the ecmascript standard the core features of javascript are based on the ecmascript standard but javascript also has additional features that are not in ecmascript specifications or standards whereas action script and j script sorry uh, j script are other languages that implement the ecmascript so these are action script and j script are other languages that implement the ecmascript whereas javascript was submitted to ecmascript sorry javascript was submitted to ecma for standardization but due to trademark issues with the name javascript the standard became called ecmascript and every browser has a javascript interpreter so apart of all these points what we can easily remember is javascript is most popular implementation of ecmascript standard whereas the core features of javascript are based on the ecmascript standard but javascript also has additional features that are not inside the ecmascript specifications of standard and whereas every browser has a javascript interpreter now let's just move to the ecmascript ecmascript is a standard for scripting languages languages like javascript are based upon the ecmascript standard and ecmascript standard is based on several originating technologies that most well known being javascript and jscript which is of microsoft and the abbreviation of ecmascript is ecmascript means or abbreviation is european computer manufacturers association from this it is just even enhanced to 5 and even 6 also so ecmascript is a version of ecmascript sorry yes 5 is a version of ecmascript or old or current one yes 5 is javascript you know use in the browser today and it is not required to build a setup to transform into something else that will run in a today's browsers that means es5 do not require a build setup that can be called as transpilers to transform the data into something that will run in today's browsers whereas ecmascript version 5 was finished in december 2009 the latest version of all majors is major browsers are chrome safari firefox internet explorer that have implemented version 5 from then version 5.1 was finished in 2011 june then later it is entered into the es6 ecmascript 6 with the new features and new versions officially name it as es2015 also we can also call either es6 or we can even say 2015 or ecmascript 2015 yes 6 will tackle many of the core languages shortcomings addressed in typescript and coffee script and es6 is the next iteration of javascript but it does not run in today's browsers that's one default sorry 
one disadvantage that we can see but there are quite few transpilers that will export ES5 from running in browsers what are those transpilers the transpilers are like we can say the babel.js and okay the babel.js especially but we are not going to implement the concept of babel.js at this moment we are just getting a clarity the concept what is javascript and what is ecmascript and in terms of diagrammatical part if let us just check it out right there are few features here few differences ecmascript is a standard javascript is an implementation of ecmascript ECMA, the languages like js are based on ecmascript same statement the core features of javascript are based on ecmascript and ecmascript is based on several originating technologies the most well known being is javascript what we have given or read here itself okay so like this that we can just get a clarity overall what is javascript and ecmascript difference so simply we can say javascript is a javascript is a point of um, implementation of ecmascript you can say okay now let us understand some practical points what we can do in ecmascript like we can see some of the features of ecmascript so let me just write here what is the abbreviation of ecmascript so ECMA. ecmascript europeans European uh, let me just open one second it just I need to remember so European computer manufacturers association script okay so you can just remember this one apart with this you even can also read this statement it is a JavaScript standard intended to ensure the interoperability of web pages across different browsers okay and now let's run here so what are the features let's do one thing let me just create a program script features dot html now okay let's write a script let is also one of the feature of ECMA script and how we can write a simple statement I am writing here for let i equals to 0 i less than 5 and i plus plus inside this I am just writing a simple console dot log of i let's check it out And we have given at console tab the result so right zero one two three four okay now after this if you write console dot log of i then what will be the output i is not defined right now because we did not declare anywhere so just remove this one 
now in the same way let's write a constant what is the meaning or concept of constant when you assign something value that will be given that will be accessed only it is not having an option to edit anywhere throughout your program it is just fixed value right so okay i am just writing for example something as 3.14 1.2 something so on so on and i'm just displaying this one console dot log of pi pi so check it out this one right we are able to see that statement okay if you try if you try to update pi something else and then console dot log of pi then assignment to constant variable is an it's not accepting because of the concept of constant is once you assign some value to the particular variable that is fixed throughout your program and no longer going to be updated okay then but you are trying to update so it's giving error so let's do one thing let's remove this one or block it okay why we have discussed constant now i am writing here const can we set an array as a value to the constant yes we can so okay i am just writing here person or user or anything and or as let's do one thing i will just go with for example uh, nums and that equals to in the square bracket something maybe a positive negative even a decimal point number whereas like all the values let's just first display console dot log of nums so what will happen it will just display what the values we have given right we are able to see now you know already how to access a particular value right with its indexing so you can just write even console dot log of nums of for example 3 let's see so what will be the output one so 0 1 2 3 minus 48.46 that we are expected to see right okay now i am planning to update nums of 3 that equals to 45.75 can we do like this and once we are done and we are just planning to check it out let's check it out so right it's updated previously it is 0 1 2 3 previously it is minus 48.46 but now it's updated to 45.75 so here you can understand one point when a variable which is declared with the constant and if it is just having a simple a number or a, a string or a boolean then we don't have an option of updation but the same thing when you declare with an array format then you have an option of what do you say updating that existing values right
among the total number of items we have just extracted nums of 3 and inside that we have just updated and that we are able to access right now so we got a clarity we can able to update a value which is given in terms of an array format with the const variable whereas now okay let's write here const with array now const with object format so how can you write an object let me just write here const user how to declare how to set an object to declare or to just say a particular variable as an object at the right hand side that you need to write in opening closing curly braces format and inside this you can write that name and you can write the age whatever you want now name and age are two properties which are under the object name that we can say user okay now let's write a statement console dot log of user so name age okay we can say name and age now can we able to update okay if you want to update then how you can write here object name a simple point as these two items are inside that object user so we can simply say object name dot particular property name so object name dot name and that equals to for example let's write Paul and after updating console dot log of user just check it out right we are able to update so we even have an flexibility that we can able to update a particular property value of a object when it is even though declared with a const keyword okay now apart of all these points let us discuss the concept of loop especially with the for loop for of so okay let's write here let letters and that equals to a e i o u i just given ovals but you can write anything and first if you write console dot log of letters console dot log of letters it will just give all the letters okay but now we are writing here for we are not going to make it any condition part inside that for let letter of letters the meaning of this statement is from the group of items of letters we are just extracting one by one letter and then you can simply write here console dot log of 
लेटर फाइट ए आई ओ यू ऑल द वैल्यूज विच इज इवन दो वी डिट नॉट गिवन एनी कंडीशन इट इज जस्ट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एंडिंग डिस्प्लेइंग ऑल द वैल्यूज फ्रॉम द ग्रुप ऑफ आइटम्स वन बाय वन आइटम इट इज जस्ट स्पीकिंग एंड एयर डिस्प्लेइंग और इन्वॉल्विंग इन एनी अदर दैट इज अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट बट एक्सट्रैक्टिंग द ग्रुप ऑफ आइटम्स with of of for of in the same way for in what is the difference between for of and for in let's see here letter in letter in letters so you can write here console dot log of letters of that particular letter the meaning we can say it is just picking up that ident sorry uh, indexing number from the group of items you are extracting that index 0 1 2 3 the so uh, array variable name of that particular index let us check it out right now you are able to see okay so and this is one point that is for loop concept for of and for in let's write now there is one more feature in es that's nothing but we can say template string so let's write here a let str or we can say let name equals to john and then let h equals to something else now we are writing a statement cons sorry console dot log with the back ticks that's nothing but template string back ticks the name dot sorry, dollar opening closing curly braces write a name and h dollar opening closing curly braces write an h so we are able to write the total string along with the variables implementation okay so write okay so we are able to see now this apart of all these points yes even we can say default arguments default arguments in functions so what is the default arguments for example i am just writing here console dot log of do action and we are passing two values that's just entering into the definition function space do action of n1 comma n2 inside this you can just write any statement i am just writing return statement n1 n2 now here line number 76 do action having two parameters correctly we are even axing in the definition so okay 
we are writing here console dot log of do action of only one parameter so but it is expecting two parameters let us do one thing let us check it out first here say here return statement spelling the so return so we are getting first output 2 and 6 but second output 4 and third one we can see as we are not getting any value we are getting we are seeing that undefined why because of you are returning something okay let's do one thing i will be writing for our understanding purpose here make it do action dollar opening closing curly braces whereas do action dollar opening closing curly braces okay so let us check it out now do action two six do action four and another one is not there it is undefined right so but if you observe do action here we are getting this entering into the definition doing some programming and it has to give something else result right now so but still it's not giving okay that's first that's later point here the point is we are passing two parameters two and six and then we can write a statement written here n1 plus space n2 we are doing some concatenation symbol so 2 space 4 the things or we can say 2 comma 4 whereas 4 comma undefined because we don't have a second parameter right now so 4 comma undefined now what i want to say here is if you want to set it instead of undefined you can just set something a default arguments writing some or setting some values at function definitions okay writing some values at function definitions to the arguments that we can say default arguments concept so setting some values default to the function definitions then apart of e apart of these things we even can say arrow functions also so we have already discussed this one okay let me just check it out here let okay also write here simply console dot log of arrow function then dollar opening closing curly braces write a r r f u n c and with opening closing parentheses so just write here function space arrow function what do you say it is an arrow function sorry let the name of that function that equals to opening closing parenthesis arrow and its definition and saying that for example we can say anyway we are getting so written just saying that yes it's an arrow function okay so what you will be getting this is a statement and giving a call that's entering into the definition arrow it is one and giving a written statement to this place let's check it out right yes it's an arrow function okay so these are the sum of the yes six or we can say ECMA script features okay now next that we'll discuss with the concept of 
so what are the things that we can write here the features we can select for we can select for of for in then additionally we can see arrow functions whereas default arguments etc then now totally up to this point we have done one sector or one section that we can see without a concept of an object and from then now we are entering into the concept of an object first we will discuss the concept of an object how you can create an object and with user defined method okay so the first point declaring or creating declaring the object using user defined method so what is the meaning of this one i am planning to declare an object okay what is an object an object is a name which can hold a group of properties and its corresponding data or we can say fields a simple example that we can see an object we can say a stationary box an object a laptop that is which is having some external ports keys and right now with so that means an a thing which is having some set of points where it is having some meaningful again additionally that overall we can say an object concept okay and here how you are going to declare an object using user defined method let us see so declare object with user defined method okay now here let's write you can also write in the top i am writing here or i am giving a call planning to maintain a group of records like user records person records or we can say voter id records or driving license records or we can say any kind of records products anything but how so far okay let me write here declaring the objects were user one that equals to if you write like this it is just saying that a string value that is just assigned to the variable or else if you write like this the meaning where we can have a group of items in terms of indexing format or position format and that can be accessed with the given name and then next now you are writing a new new is an operator and writing your sorry user details user details is a user defined method which is associated with the new operator and when it is associated with the new operator the javascript parser understand that you are creating an object then inside this 
I am just writing okay first name let me write here a John last name let me write here a Paul so the meaning of this statement is we are planning to save John and Paul as a first name and last name under the box or under the name of user one record as soon as the JavaScript parser see this line user defined function call with its parameter that is finding out and entering into the definition so right here function space user details let's write the first argument the first name and then last name now the question here is how to access so far in all the previous functionalities that you have discussed first name and last name those are parameters and that can be just assigned to the local variables and can do some programming or something else but I am saying that you have planned to create a group of records maybe user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 user 10 20 30 100 there is hundreds of users but for each and every time you can't make it a separate function for each and every member right you will be having a common logic that needs to take the values from the inputs and do some programming and give the result in that case then how do you do so you can just write here function call with parameters okay let me just do one thing var user 2 and that equals to new space user details so saying that for example adam steve whereas var user 3 and that equals to new space user details of saying that for example mm, okay ricky point something names so meaning of this statement is we can say we are planning to maintain three records as of now but for each and every time we can't make it something unique uh, what do you say function definition right now so how can you access in that case how can you make it a common functionality first thing that we have given for all the different records a same function definition only the values are changing when it comes to the definition how can you write here to access a property of a particular object that can be written with a keyword which is called this this is a keyword which can have a property name connectivity okay what is this this is a keyword which is referring internally the current current running object what is that current running object see irrespective of any programming language if you take it is not going to check it out and do the program at a time with all the statements in a single shot it has to check it out a line by line the same way when the javascript parser comes to this line from this it is jumping to the definition and that particular function which is assigned to particular variable which is called user1 that we want to make it a common I mean a dynamic simply I say when the JavaScript parser comes to the line number 22 the current running object is nothing but user1 when the JavaScript parser comes to line number 24 
then user 2 is the current running object so like this so it is varying depends upon the line execution for all the variations that is common statement common word that we have this this is a keyword and having a property that is internally the keyword this is user1 as of now so user1 dot first name that equals to the value what we have given then this dot last name and that equals to write last name so now the javascript parser when it is executing line number 24 so 23 the values of john and paul will be entered into the definition of arguments and that are just assigning to the property or properties of the corresponding or respective object what is that object we can say user one why you do we say or how do we say user one is the only one because of from this line it is just jump to the definition once everything completes and comes out of that block then no longer of user one that's the meaning then in the same way second with username and password sorry first name and last name with user two whereas user three with first name and last name now 23 25 27 giving a clear picture user one user two user three are the three different objects with a common method connectivity entering into the definition and dynamically referring the name of that object with the keyword this and inside that object with a property names that is a box with a group of items like first name last name and which is getting from those first name and last name and so on okay so this is point how you can declare that objects and write the definition and access that sorry set the values to the properties of an object let's write here setting the properties to respective objects then this is a keyword which is referring internally or dynamically the current running object what is that current running object means when the javascript parser executing this line user one is the current running object when the javascript parser executing this line user 2 is the current running object like this okay so so far we are declared the object and set some properties then how to access right then to access that you can write here even directly for example say console.log if you observe one point inside the particular method when you have planned to work with an object you need to refer with keyword this but outside of that method you can just directly write an object name dot the property name first name so i am just writing for example here first name and last name dollar of opening closing curly braces user one dot last name okay so let us just check it out this one
right you are able to see first name john and last name paul so outside of that method you can just directly give a call object name dot property name only within the method you have to say keyword this okay that's in the same way you can also write the rest of things also then just right we are able to see but okay we are able to see only with because we might have given user one user one user one i guess yes right so let's just change to user two then make it user three okay this is ex explicitly that we have given a call with a particular object name and it's correspondingly particular property name then we even can also do another way so what i will do here is for example let's write here object name dot get user the meaning of this statement is not only that you can access the property with a dot you even can also access the method with dot concatenating object name dot method name but where is that definition yes you can also write the definition in the same main user defined constructor so that is user defined method you can say simply after declaring all the properties and just writing the definition here itself saying that uh, what is it get user this is also one of the property that you are planning to access so you need to say this dot get user why should we have to say this dot get user because user one dot get user user two dot get user user three dot get user likewise that likewise that we will be having so which user that user sir which user is given a call so to identify to the program that we can write this the corresponding sorry the current running object dot method name that equals to write its definition here so i can just write here any statement i'm just copying and here in place of user object name give a call do you say or do you require once again to specify this dot it's not required why it's not required 100 percentage it's required this is a method inside the method you are accessing the particular property and that is also related to the particular object so this dot and you can say here also this dot so let let's do one thing uh, for our understanding purpose uh, get user okay then let's write here get user to check it out this one get user yes we are able to see here get user the first name and last name so overall if you observe clearly one point we are de it is a user defined method with parameters that's just entering into the definition and setting some values to the corresponding properties of a particular object which is con we can say current running objects and how to access or how to do some manipulations or whatever it is object name dot property name in the same way object name dot method name and this method is also can be written in the user defined constructor which is user details and that is also referring as a property with an anonymous function and just giving a statement okay so this is how you can declare an object with user defined method and able to access the property values 
okay so like this then to enhance additionally the concept of uh, object whereas with a class what is a class what is an object and then enhancement of class with an inheritance those things we'll discuss in the next section thank you